we often see and hear information on social media or on the news about old people suffering from dementia. They are shown as not being able to remember who they are or even their own children sometimes, not being able to carry out simple tasks or calculations. Some make memes and humor about these diseases by implying that popular people suffer from them when they make minor or petty mistakes on the news. We have seen these being done on Biden, if you all remember. In addition, people have also been insisting that he get a cognitive assessment to continue as an effective president of the US. So what are these neurodegenerative diseases? Situations that involve the brain cells to not work at their optimal level of functioning or that cause decay or damage to these cells might cause these NDG diseases. As is the case with psychological issues, NDGs are more or less the same. They are influenced by genetic as well as environmental factors. Environmental factors include sleep, lifestyle and various accidents etc. And also the main thing is age is the risk factor for the increase of NDG diseases. Now that we have learned all about these NDGs, let's look on to some of the types of NDGs that, that, that are there. So the first one is Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease, uh, if you watch Days Anatomy, you've definitely heard of this term. In a de more definition term, it is defined as the deteriorating cognitive abilities of an individual such as recognition, reasoning, logic and eventually physical abilities as well. So this actually me uh, is caused by the reduction in the production of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter. Now let's have a quick note on what neurotransmitters are. Neurotransmitters are defined as um, chemicals in our nervous system that help in transmitting ele electrical impulses from one neuron to another. So now the second cause of Alzheimer's disease is uh, the uh, because of a protein that is called amyloid beta protein. These proteins get uh, plagued up into the blood vessels that prevent uh, the oxygen from reaching the brain. So as we know because of the blockage of oxygen, the uh, brain starts deteriorating because it does not have enough oxygen supply. Now, uh, currently there are two drugs called Aricept and uh, Exelon that are used to uh, increase the production of acetylcholine. However, even though it increases, it, only, it is only able to slow down the progression of the disease and not completely prevent it. Such patients will require uh, more family care support for the management of this disease along with the drug. So that is all we have about Alzheimer's. Now let's move on to Parkinson's. Parkinson's disease. This disease involves the occurring muscle tremors, slowing of body movements, as well as facial paralysis. This is caused by the degeneration of malfunctioning neurons that pro produce dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter. Usually, a common treatment for this disease is L-DOPA, which is a drug. However, as time passes by due to studies, we have uh, come to conclusion that the efficacy of L-DOPA uh, is decreasing. Now we on to Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease is an NDG that is characterized by three changes. One in personality, two in cognition such as speech deficits and three in movement such as impaired body movement and um, the muscle rigidity. So talking about this disease, it is a very fatal one. Why? Because the hereditary rate of this disease is really high. If a parent is um, said to have Huntington's disease, their, uh, their child is 50% more likely to possess the disease. What happens exactly here is that there is a Huntington gene that is responsible for uh, the, the development of the nervous system. So when this is affected, the uh, nervous system or the body makes more copies of DNA than regularly requ required. So these more copies for end up forming a very long protein chain. So during the breakdown of this protein chain, we end up forming amyloid tangles as we had seen similarly in Alzheimer's disease which affects the normal neuronal functioning. Can we prevent neurodegenerative diseases? Unfortunately, we cannot prevent them. However, we can stop them from progressing and leading to more damage. A few lifestyle measures that could be taken are Fitness exercises like walking Eating healthy by following a balanced diet, emphasizing on supplements like vitamins and omega-3 fatty acids, US Center for Disease Control and Prevention recommends at least 7 hours of sleep. Furthermore, if needed, cognitive training and rehabilitation will definitely help in reducing the progression. 
We hope you all got a brief idea about what neurodegenerative diseases are, the types of NDDs, as well as how they manifest. It is important to understand that such topics are really complex and wide, and this video just covers the top layer. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up and comment below as well as share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Psychophilics!